Good afternoon guys and welcome to my, what is this video? My first trimester part three. Now I didn't think I was going to be doing a part three. Also, can we just like, can we see where I am right now? This is actually my old bedroom. So this is where all the fun started. <laughs> if you saw all my old videos, this is literally where I used to live because this is my old room that is now like my mum's little den. I'm here because load of workmen have been at my flat today doing some work on the damp patch on the wall that we've had since we moved in. So I brought Alfie here this morning, dropped him to his dad's at around 11 and then I've just been sat doing some editing. So I've just finished editing this video that you are seeing now which is my first trimester part three. I'm really really sorry about all the different parts. It's just been one of those ones where I was really really noticing how much I ramble. So like I had no idea that I ramble as much as I do and I'm actually quite embarrassed for about 15 minutes of this video. I'm literally just sat in my car just talking, just talking and talking and talking and talking. Also I noticed that I had the soft focus effect on. I was watching Molly May's video the other day and she was like, oh, this is me with the soft focus effect on. Like I could like troll you guys. And I was like, oh my God, do I, do I have that on? So I checked and I've had it on the whole time I've had this camera. So I'm actually so sorry. Oh, I'm at a little bit of an angle, but it's gonna have to do. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry. If you've ever thought that my skin has looked like unreal, just know that it's all fake. Um, Cause I would never do that. I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that it was on. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to come on and introduce this vlog. It is a little bit of a long and boring one because half of it I'm literally just sat in my car chatting to you. But if you want to listen to it like a little podcast, like I like to do with YouTube videos, then go ahead because it's definitely almost like a podcast friendly video. So anyway, in this vlog, you will see my first midwife appointment, what I thought of it, and just sort of like going through all of Alfie's old birth things and things I want to do sort of differently with this one. Yeah, I promise you very, very soon we will be back in real time. Well, not far off real time anyway. So yeah, other than that, enjoy the video. Hey guys, how are we doing? I don't know how long it's been, a couple of weeks maybe. I feel like I may have been 10 weeks last time I spoke to you I've edited the first trimester vlog literally got that like all done I'm just editing the second one I am 12 weeks in two days I cannot believe where that time has gone technically I should be announcing in two days but I'm not going to only because our 12 week scan isn't for another two weeks so well just under so I will be 13 weeks and five days by the time that I have my 12 week scan um and I think maybe within that week I will probably announce <laughs> but obviously you all know which I've been saying like this whole time when you're watching this because obviously at, the, at this current moment you don't know so it is currently Wednesday the 17th of January it's seven minutes to 11 god I really need to burp so the reason I'm coming to you today is because it's actually my first midwife appointment today which is so 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 exciting. I went to a different midwife centre two days ago and got some blood tests done just to check if I was anemic. I was going to um what's it called I was I was going to vlog then and update you then but honestly it took me about 25 minutes to park and by the time that I parked I was late so I couldn't pick up the camera then even though I bought it with me and intended to I couldn't and now I'm pretty much on time for this which is why I'm just coming to you quickly um but it is really sad because Charlie was supposed to come today he it was also Charlie's birthday yesterday. He turned 27 yesterday. And unfortunately, he is so, 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 so unwell. Like, really not well at all. I've never seen him like that. So, it's just such a shame because... What is this man doing? I genuinely thought that man was going to come and, like, tell me to move. And I was like, no, I have an appointment. But it's okay. He's just going in his van. Um, yeah, he's so unwell, um, which he's never, ever, ever really been like before. Um, his immune system is literally unreal. So, 
he's obviously just been attacked by like a really bad flu he's been down with it for three days now not really getting any signs of getting better and it's such a shame because he spent his whole birthday just like absolutely bed bound dying on the sofa and then obviously today it was our first midwife appointment not that it's really like that deep because i don't know midwife especially before like 20 weeks before they measure your bump and stuff like that i don't really feel like it's that important but i feel like for him as well because it's his first time and it's his first child it probably would have been nice for him to sort of understand um everything a little bit more so it's really really sad for him he is at home in bed but yeah hopefully by the time that we have our 12 week scan in just over a week's time he will be much much better but yeah so I'm bloody starving, I haven't even had any breakfast, but I've been off my food for the last couple of days, which is really strange because I've definitely come out of the whole first trimester sickness, the first trimester no energy, everything that is sort of going on right now is all to do with sleep, so I keep going like absolutely shattered, like you know when your eyes are like in actual pain because you're so tired, I keep getting that and then like laying down at half nine-ish at night and literally being wide awake but my eyes are so like in pain it's so strange but then if i do like force myself to go to sleep at that time i wake up at three in the morning and it's like my body is like oh we're ready for the day now and i'm like no so i've been trying to go to bed a little bit later so last night i went to bed at like 11 and i woke up at six which is much better stretch of sleep i had seven solid hours which i haven't had in so so long and it's funny because my toddler sleeps through the night like alfie sleeps through the night perfectly fine and then there's me waking myself up um which is the cause of my no sleep which is very very strange that's a little bit noisy sorry about that um but yeah this midwife appointment is about an hour long I'm gonna go in see what happens i actually do have a different midwife this time to my last midwife although it's at the same midwif midwifery midwifery center i can't i don't know what it's actually supposed to be called but it's at the same um center as i went to with alfie just with a different midwife so obviously that'll be very interesting very new um i didn't request that or anything like that it just happened to be that she was the earliest that i could get in so that is what i did but yeah i'm feeling very very good i'm just very very i'm I'm very scared that I'm gonna get this flu that Charlie's got. Both me and Alfie seem fine at the moment. It's not COVID. We've both, we've all done tests apart from Alfie. Well, so me and Charlie have done tests and both are negative. So I just think he's been hit with a really, really, really awful flu, which is so, so, so sad for him. He was also supposed to be going skiing tomorrow for free, which is actually nuts. His company that he works for picked him for being such a good worker to go skiing for free for four days, three nights. And he was so excited. He's never been skiing before and now he can't go because he's so unwell which is actually so horrible for him i feel so so bad for him but yeah hopefully me and alfie will stay okay he will get a little bit better um but it's just funny because this will all be in the past the time that i'm editing and uploading this um but yeah we're not close we're close sorry to being to announcing which is nuts um i'm gonna go in now because i literally have two minutes two minutes to go in so i will see you after the appointment and update you then right it's the same day as you can probably tell i'm just scuffing my face with a share bag of sensations which i've almost finished which is actually quite disgusting and i've got my strawberry water so we are all done at the midwife so i just thought that i would explain like everything that's happened what they said um and how it all went first of all i want to say the receptionist is incredibly bloody rude um but what do you expect from receptionists some of them are like the nicest people ever and some of them are really like weird um she was definitely not the nicest receptionist ever went in spoke with the midwife uh the first one is quite long i think i was in there for almost about an hour so we kind of just went through everything that happened with alfie's birth what went wrong what could have been changed we kind of just went through it all and made sure that i was then not going into this birth with any excess trauma which i did kind of make clear that i do feel like that's gonna happen so she's booked me in for a birth debrief which i'm so 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 excited for because i've been wanting to do it for ages i just haven't had the time to get around to it so for somebody to refer me to that is a really really good start for me because i'd absolutely love to know really what went wrong and how it went wrong and how it can be prevented next time so she said i'm really really low risk until she asked me how much 
blood loss I suffered in Alfie's birth and I told her it was 1.3 litres and she said okay that does change everything slightly just because they recommend that you give birth on labour ward if you lost over one litre of blood during your last um, birth which obviously I did and as soon as she said that I turned around and I was like can you refuse it and she was like yeah we have like consultant midwives and stuff like that that can sort of um speak to you about your options and how they can put a plan in place so if you do need you know to go into labor ward while you're while you're at the birthing center sorry you you know that plan is sort of there for you because i basically said to her like look some of the decisions that were made i feel like were really out of my hands i feel like i was being really pushed to do stuff i didn't want to do i was really naive i was young it was my first pregnancy my first birth and i said this time i'm not taking it i was like i swore to myself i would never take that again and i want it to be led by me i want to make the decisions obviously if there is like a genuine cause for concern like if if the baby's heart is like dropping and you know stuff like that that's very different but if they say to me oh yeah we think they're going to be a little bit too small a little bit too big or something stupid like that like they did last time i'm literally going to be like look it's either that you let me have my birth my way or i will literally just go home and give birth there and that's way more dangerous than being in a hospital anyway so that's kind of what i've said to them and that's not me being ignorant of professionals that is me being headstrong and understanding that a lot of these people or a lot of these midwives as much as some of them are absolutely incredible some of them rely well obviously all of them rely on can rely on unreliable technology such as growth scans which is very very un, a very unreliable source it's been proven over and over and over again so i don't want to be relying on that um and i won't i won't ever do that again so it was kind of very healing for me to talk to someone who kind of understood what I was talking about. It was nice for me to be able to offload that onto, onto a midwife. And obviously being booked in for the birth debrief, I feel like will really hopefully help me lose any past trauma or heal from, start to heal from any past trauma because I really just do not want to go into this birth with the same mindset and for things to mess up because I'm so scared of what happened last time but she reassured me that second births are usually so so different to firsts she said that it's usually much quicker it can happen earlier this process is more often than not smoother now I'm not saying that that is like how it is for everyone because I know people that haven't had like situations like that at all so I'm not saying that that is the case for everyone but i'm just i'm trying to be positive guys like i'm really really trying to be positive and optimistic and last time i was so so scared and i don't want to be as scared this time i mean it's literally ages away it's going to come flying around the corner and then probably the week of my due date i'll be absolutely petrified but i do just really want to try and be as positive as i possibly can and go in with a better mindset so i'm really happy with how things turned out they also prescribed me two lots of ferrous sulfate which if you didn't know is iron tablets i was on these with alfie's pregnancy towards the end but i wasn't actually towards the beginning which is really really strange because i'd say my diet was more restricted then than it is now due to the fact that i was vegan then and i'm not now but anyway did all the normal stuff like urine tests blood pressure all of that was completely normal but yeah other than the iron there wasn't really anything else um wrong which is obviously great my next appointment is at 16 weeks so that is not until february was, i'm actually having it on valentine's day which is interesting and then you leave with like one of these like bounty packs and you think this thing is huge right so you think oh there's going to be like something decent in there what on earth like tell me right so they've given me some pregnant pregnant care tablets these aren't even the best ones the be the ones that are the best are the max ones and they're the ones that i use so i'm obviously not even going to be using these and then they give you a leaflet and a pregnancy baby guide basically just selling you like selling you scans and stuff like that um and an nhs leaflet that says like the ways to protect your baby and stuff like that but 
I'm supposed to be having the flu jab on the same day as my 12 week scan which is literally like less than two weeks away and I'm actually thinking of refusing it because the last time that I had the flu jab when I was pregnant with Alfie I wasn't ill after the actual flu jab like the, the jab didn't cause me any harm but two weeks later I got the flu and it was the worst I'd ever had it like I was like Charlie is now and I'm like it wasn't even two weeks later I think it was like a month later and I was like why did I have that flu jab why did I have the flu jab for, for what it did absolutely nothing for me so I'm starting to think maybe I should just not have that and I'll have the whooping cough one or whatever but I just don't really see the point in having the flu jab if it's gonna just like if I'm gonna be ill anyway but yeah so I'd say that was a pretty a pretty successful time I've just sat and sorted my car insurance out which was so so long 110 pounds a month sorry 110 pounds a month for car insurance I know some people are probably gonna be like oh my god I pay like 200 quid or whatever but I just think that's absolutely obscene like I am screaming crying throwing up at that quote but anyway, I feel like I've sorted a lot of things out. I need to go home now and look after a very, very sick Charlie. Make sure that he's okay. Get some washing done, which is fab. But yeah, I just thought that I would update this section of the vlog because I haven't yet. And I'm literally 12 weeks in two days. I cannot believe it. I just cannot believe I'm 12 weeks in two days. Um, so yeah, I'll update you all very, very soon. Good morning guys, how are we all? Today is the 30th of January. If I sound a little bit weird, Alfie's full of cold. I am kind of full of cold, like, I'm, I feel a little bit unwell but not too bad, but my throat's a little bit weird and just sound a bit gross. But anyway, it's Tuesday the 30th of January and it is the day of my 12 week scan. So I thought I'd bring you along. I don't really know where this part of the video is going to be I still haven't fully edited my um second trimester not my second trimester my baby brain already still haven't fully edited my first trimester part two so I don't know whether this will be included in that or whether that will be already up and this will be in like a part three or just something completely different I don't know god I'm so incredibly tired Alfie had me up coughing all night and I couldn't go back to sleep and I just feel like I could literally fall asleep and I've got to drive all the way to the hospital which is a good 30 maybe even 40 minute drive so that's gonna be great but hopefully it will all be worth it I'm actually 13 weeks and four days today and that's pretty similar to when I had Alfie's 12 week scan I was 13 weeks and one day with him so the scans may look really similar I've already got Alfie's one up on my phone to compare but I'm also having my flu jab today I did look it up and it did say that you can get the flu jab if you have like a cold or something like that it's only if you have a fever that you can't which I don't so I'm gonna get a flu jab today not that I want it I had it with Alfie it didn't make a difference I got the flu a month later and it was the worst flu I've ever had in my life so I don't really want it but it was one of those things that when the midwife called me I was just like she was like going through like will you have this will you have this and I was just like yeah 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 like I just didn't I wasn't even listening I'm not gonna lie so I was just like yeah that's fine so I'm just gonna have that um before my scan so my scan is at 2 30 at Princess Anne Hospital in Southampton which is where I gave birth to my first son first child first son well, I don't know what the one that, what this is going to be. So my first child, Alfie, um, I gave birth in that hospital. So it's going to be very nostalgic to me because I haven't been back there since. I also need to call the lady back about my birth debrief. I'm pretty sure I spoke to you guys about this either in, I don't know whether this, this is going to be after the clip or whether it's going to be a different video. But when I met for my first midwife appointment, she booked me in for a birth debrief and they called me yesterday. I just need to get back to them. So... I need to schedule that for around April time. Eight is just not a good, I swear to God, he always sleeps horrendous and I always sleep horrendous on the days where we have to do something. It is never, it is never, ever, ever on the day that we have to do something, we have a good sleep. And every other night we have a great sleep. And I'm like, why does the world do that? 
I, I really don't understand it. I literally can't even think my brain is so bashed, but I'm really, really nervous. Obviously, it's an NHS scan, so it's not like the cute private rooms. It's it's a lot more, I feel like NHS is a lot more intense, especially when you're in like a hospital environment. So I am very, very nervous. I think that is normal though. Hopefully we will get to see Little Bean or I've been calling, I've been calling them little, little Kiwi because they were the size of the Kiwi last week so i've been calling them a kiwi with alfie it was my little peanut this is my little kiwi at the moment that will probably change um but yeah hopefully all is well it's just i'm at that worrying stage where you can't feel anything and you almost don't feel pregnant i have a little bit of like round ligament pain if i like sneeze or cough or move like too vigorously or like my uterus area like where it's stretching and it's like a sharp pain and i remember that so well with alfie something i actually forgot about until this pregnancy but yeah it's at that point where you don't really feel pregnant i don't really have a bump still i'm still recovering from all the weight gain from the amount of sweets that i ate um and yeah i just sorry i have nothing in me today i'm i do apologize I'm just, ugh. charlie's mum is coming over at one o'clock to babysit Alfie so I'm gonna get him down for a nap in the next hour or so and then I just have a lot of editing to do but yeah hopefully it will be all good I will catch up with you okay oh lovely focus okay i didn't really get a chance to like update anything today apart from this morning when i filmed a clip saying what we were doing but basically we had like a bit of a palaver with the car park so i probably would have filmed something beforehand but because we couldn't and we kind of just had to go straight in and straight through also i've been poked and prodded to high heaven today i've had a flu jab and a blood test on the same day um blood test for edwards and down syndrome and i'm really scared this is good she's just gonna like leak everywhere and it's giving me give me the fit but we do have pictures of the baby what did you think he's cute it's a baby in there were you expecting it to be so I was expecting Jumpy. it to be tiny still. Like, I was expecting like to see. Really? Yeah, I didn't know what to expect, to be honest. Well, yeah, to be fair. It was very jumpy. It yeah, it's all over the constantly place. just going like that. And that's what I said to you, wasn't it? So with Alfie's, mm. he was like open his mouth, like thrusting like that yeah, constantly. Yeah. And I remember thinking, oh my God, like I didn't think it was going to be like this. Mm. But yeah, little one was exactly the same yeah. so very very happy very healthy obviously we still have the 20 week scan to go back for but i mean all things considered it's it's all good my mum says that it looks exactly the same as alfie's side profile so we yeah. might we might be having a kind of twin situation going on but yeah all healthy all happy Woo! now i've got to drive home with a very sore arm so yeah. It's gonna be really good fun. It's really sore. Yeah, I've bled a lot. Oh, good. It hasn't bled through, but it's like mm. most of the time you only get like a tiny little. This is like I can see it all underneath is red. Yeah. That's good. I need to get home before it's gonna get dark. Don't know if I'm even gonna be able to cook mac and cheese with an arm like this. I do. Mac and no, cheese, you're not making it because I've got a really good recipe. And right. I don't want you to, it might just have to be like one of the easy dinners that we've planned this week. Sorry guys, we're just talking about this um, meal plan whole situation that we've got <laughs> going on here. Um, to just ignore us for a hot minute. We might have to just swap one of the days over and do like right. one of the easy dinners tonight and then do the mac and cheese later. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do curry tomorrow because I'm gonna feel like ass. Oh. oh, this is not a good time, is it? It's not a good week for the meal plan. No. Don't meal plan when you have bad stuff coming up. Yeah. Yeah! You, you, we're talking to you, Alex. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's my Maisie doggy. It's my Maisie doggy. Look at you. You're so beautiful. You're so pretty. 
look how blind she is you can literally see in her eyes sorry i just thought that i would come on and outro this vlog so thank you so so much for watching this video if you like this video then please give it a like down below if you like my content and want to continue on my journey with baby number two and beyond definitely subscribe to my youtube channel leave a comment down below if you wish to do so and other than that i will see you in the next video love you bye